my Lord, in the week that the government has announced, for very understandable reasons, that it's going to extend free, unfettered access for firms from the Irish Republic, part of the EU, to access the UK market, is it too much to hope that, Northern, that British firms sending goods to the other part of the United Kingdom in Northern Ireland might also benefit from free, unfettered access? Surely that's not too much to ask. And can the noble Lord, the Minister, tell us when we're likely to see that? <laughs> Um, uh, the noble lord makes an extremely good point, and um, if I may dwell on it for, for a moment, I think um, uh, it is certainly it is true, obviously, that the, the legal framework uh, for Northern Ireland and Ireland goods coming to, to Great Britain is different because of the unfettered access commitment. Uh, in practice, at the moment, it's not always possible to distinguish between the two categories of goods, but that will change in future. And we will need a definitive solution to this question. And of course the degree of pragmatism that we show in future to Irish goods coming to Great Britain uh, is going to be related to the degree of pragmatism and flexibility that the EU shows in allowing goods to move freely around all parts of the UK.